So here is my look for the NYX Top 20. I've always wanted to do an automaton look and I figured the theme of Machinist would be absolutely perfect. So before we start off, I just wanted to give you guys a little reminder in case you did want to vote for me to make it to top 12. All you have to do is go to faceawards.com and you get three votes per day, per email. And in case you're wondering, yes, it's still very awkward to make faces during voiceovers. You're doing great. Aww. So starting off, I'm taking my Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster just to keep my skin nice and hydrated before I apply all that makeup. Next, I'm taking this water activated paint in this kind of yellow mustardy color. I find it's easiest for me to change the base color of my skin tone, just so adding layers on top gets a lot easier. And don't forget about them ear holes. Next, I'm going in with this NYX Professional Makeup Eyeshadow in Gold Lust, and this flat brush that really packs pigment really well. And I'm just going over that original layer, giving myself some five o'clock shadow. And it just helps to give that metallic coppery sheen to that first layer. Next, I'm going in with the SFX cream color in silver. And again, just adding that right on top. Again, this just helps sell that metal look and I was a bit tired of looking like Bert from Bert and Ernie. Next, I'm going in with this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. And I'm going in with this brown shimmery shadow. And I'm just adding a little bit of shadow and contour just to break up that all over yellow color. I then went in with the NYX Strictly Vinyl Eyeliner in brown. And I started to sketch out all the line details. Now I'm going in with this NYX Perfect Filter Palette in All of You and this NYX Fluffy Brush and I'm mixing this pale gold color with this camo green and just adding some definition to those eye panels just to break it up a little bit. Now I'm going in with the NYX That's the Point Eyeliner in Hella Fine and took on the challenge of starting the piston teeth. This definitely took all of my focus. And I don't think they necessarily ended up looking like pistons, but I still think they look pretty cool, so I'm alright with it. After I had the bases all drawn out, I added those little connecting points from my face and then the bottom row. Once I had that eyeliner out, I decided to darken some of the lines that I had made and worked on my nose holes. Nose holes. Nose holes. And I darkened those up. And also extended my mouth lines back. Next I took this NYX Professional Makeup Eyeliner in gold and I started to color in those pistons to give it a metallic base. Can't really tell in here, but I think that it gave a cool effect in real life. Next, I took this teeny angled brush from NYX and that same brown shade that we were using before and I started to add some realism to the pistons, basically adding shadows where they would actually be coming out of my face. Then added some depth on those eye panels to make them look elevated and then making that skull line a little bit more sunken in. I also added some more shadowing on several parts of my face. And then took this NYX Professional Makeup Eyeshadow in Betrayal. And again, just started defining those pistons even more, adding shadows to the sides where the light realistically wouldn't be touching. I then took the NYX White Eye Pencil and started to add in those reflections as best I could. I highly re recommend looking at a reference photo for this, since metal and other reflective surfaces are pretty hard to imitate. Went back in with that eyeliner and just kind of cleaned up those line details that I had gone over and smudged. And in case you didn't need proof that I hunch over like a golem when I do my makeup, exhibit A. And drew on a couple lines, because why not? 
And then I'm going in with this grayish color from that palette that we were using before and just adding some more depth. And I'm going in with the camo green again and took on my eyes. So I added the camo green as a base color because I knew I was going to use the corrosion later on. And I also added it to my lower lids, creating a sort of smoky eye. Then I'm using this tiny brush from NYX and dipping it in that pale gold and creating just a little bit more interest on the upper lids. I also added it to my inner corners as well. And then I went in with gold and I tried to add some more interest to the inner eyes kind of creating a little inverse cat eye. Then I took my setting spray and sprayed it on my brush, dipped into the gold again, and I find that that just helps with the potency of the eyeshadow. Next I'm going in with this shadow, which is called Jaded, and I'm just adding that to the inner corners of my eyes next to the gold, and to my nose, because I thought it was cute. Next I'm taking this Cosmic Metals lipstick in Galactic. And I decided to add a little bit of rivets on my eye panels. Next, going in with that brown again. And I tried to add some texture. I'm not too crazy with how this turned out and I ended up covering it with silver anyways. But then I went in with that brown eyeliner from before and added some texture. And this ended up giving it sort of an illustrative comic book feel, which I really liked. Next, I went in with the SFX Cream Paint in Brown and just kind of contoured my face. Then I went in with that white eyeliner again, just to sell that kind of reflective metal look. And then it was time for the neck and body, so I took a black water activated paint and started filling in that empty space. And then took water activated paints again and matched the skin color as best I could. And then I added some more silver to the highlights of the face because I kind of like the idea that she had some worn parts of her face and that the silver would be shining through. Next I went in with Jaded and added some corrosion stains to the forehead and the eyes and then to the neck as well. Next it was time for the lashes which I ended up cutting up from my bottom lashes and then using a normal pair on top. For the gears, I took my NYX Be Gone Makeup Wipes and wiped off the makeup from the points where I knew that the gears were going to go. I then used an SFX adhesive and very carefully ate a mozzarella stick, a lot more difficult than you would think. To make the gears, I took bits of foam, shaped them, and then planned out where I wanted the gears to go, and then just hot glued them on. Easy as that. I also made some little rivets out of foam air drying clay, so I stuck those on, and then I stuck my gears on, like a glove. I also made these little panels out of foam as well, which I'm going to paint after. Taking that Cosmic Metals lipstick from before, I'm painting those rivets and the panels, which worked surprisingly well. And I went in with a paintbrush just to make sure I got every little crevice. For the corrosion, I used liquid latex and then ripped up a cotton ball, put the cotton on, and saturated it with more liquid latex. And this ended up making a really, really cool chunky effect, which I was able to add the corrosion color on top of, and I think it turned out pretty cool. So I did that to my skull line as well. I then took this NYX Professional Makeup Vivid Brights in Aqua, which is the perfect corrosion color, and just added it on top of that chunkiness. I then went in with Jaded and darkened it up a little bit so it just wasn't so bright. I then took NYX's Black Cream FX Paint and just added a couple more lines and more details. Then took that metallic eyeliner from before and added some simple wiring on my neck just so it wasn't one big black empty space. Then sprayed it all with setting spray. For the little belts that went on my shoulder, I cut them out of foam and then glued them all together and then painted them with acrylic paint. 
Next, I teased my hair to the gods. And then use Redkin's Aerate Mousse. Just to make sure the crown of my head was nice and flat. Then I started painting the rest of my body, including my shoulders and my arms, which took forever. 2,000 years later. So here is my look for the top 20 of the NYX Face Awards. I honestly can't believe I made it this far and I'm so excited that I got to make this look for you guys. If you did want to vote for me, then just head over to faceawards.com or you can click the direct link in the bio of this video and you get three votes per day, per email, and it would mean the world to me to make it to top 12. How can you say no to that? Okay, well that is it. I love you all so very much. Whether you're new or old to this channel, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Inventor, bitch! <laughs> Stress is a little, uh, Princess Bride, but that's okay. What? Rachel, I'm with them. Did you say you don't know what Princess Bride is? No. You ever seen Princess Bride? No. What? Yeah, As you wish? Inconceivable? Nigo Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die? No. Nope. No. I'm putting this in the video to shame you. You are. <laughs>